All right, today we're going to talk about port forwarding on the Zywall USG20 and the USG50. Um, pretty much is the same firewall. The 50 has more bells and whistles, um, but the interface is the exact same. Um, so to port forward, we're going to give you the example of port forwarding for a Minecraft server today, but this example will work for other port forwarding scenarios as well. So to get started, go to your configuration. And we need to specify and create what port we want to use. Now by default, Zycel has given us a whole slew of default ports that people use day to day. But uh, they don't have Minecraft in here. So we're going to create that port. So we go to add and we're going to give this port forward a name and we're going to call it Minecraft. TCP is fine. Default Minecraft port is 25565 and again 25565 okay, because we don't need to specify a range we just want one port. We're going to hit OK. Alright let's see if that's saved. We'll look for our Minecraft port here there it is, Minecraft specified at 25565. So now we have our service and our port for Minecraft ready to go. Now we need to specify our server and what IP address it's using. So now we go up to address and we're gonna click on add and the name of this server or address is going to be Let's just call it uh, MCS for Minecraft server. It's a host, and that host name we'll say is going to be using the 192.168.0.180 address. Okay, I really don't have a Minecraft server up and running on this network right now. This is just a mock up firewall. But if I did, I'd give it this IP. So I'm going to hit OK. All right now that's saved it's using that address so that's great let's continue All right now we've got our port we've got our address now let's go ahead and allow traffic outside of the firewall in to hit that server so we're gonna go to add we're gonna enable this rule Traffic's going to be coming in from our WAN interface. Or we could we could even just do any to LAN1, because that's where my server is. And we're gonna call this rule my Minecraft rule. Schedule, don't really need a schedule. Any user's fine. Source can be any destination now I want my traffic for Minecraft to point to Minecraft so we're gonna do the MCS option because we just created that service and that address the service is the port 25565 so we need to tell the rule that we want it to use that new Minecraft port that we just created. So let me find that. There it is. And yes, we want access to be allowed. Log. Yeah, I like to see what's going on. So let's hit OK. Now we're not done. We have one more step, and that is to do our NAT rules. So hit NAT. We're going to add a rule. And the rule name is going to be, again, Minecraft. Virtual server is fine. Incoming is Digis. Um, that's my old ISP, but you would typically just choose WAN1. So let's pretend that's WAN1. Original IP is any. Mapped IP, we want it to go to the Minecraft server, which um, the funny thing about this is it uses names instead of numbers so the MCS is actually that 
0.180 address. So basically it's just pointing to that IP. Um, port mapping type is going to be a service and that service like we created is our Minecraft service. There it is at the bottom because it's new. Alright, and then go ahead and uncheck enable NAT loopback. That can cause some internal problems so you can tweak that but if you just want to get up and running really quick uncheck that. Hit OK, hit apply and you're done. If you want to check your port and make sure it's open go to uh, www.canyouseeme.org and put your 25565 port in there and then hit check port and it will tell you if your uh, if your port is open. Um, pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, email us um, theorangegorilla.com at gmail.com and we'll uh, answer any questions you have for us. Thanks.